What's up students of Hogwarts? That's the lamest intro I've ever had in a video. Guys, I'm Dean and this is yet another video in the playlist that I haven't updated in almost a year. This is the little series that I like to call the 3D Printing Noob. Yeah. So basically this series is where I take you through my experiences with a 3D printer. The one that I print with is the Cocoon Create Touch, the Audi 3D printer as uh, a lot of people know it by. So this video today is all about me printing this. This right here is a wand holder for a magic wand, a Harry Potter wand. So this one right here is Newt's wand from Fantastic Beasts. And uh, the way this all kind of happened was, I was watching a YouTube video. I don't remember, I think it was the Tim Tracker that I was watching and he was showing uh, at Universal in Orlando, some stuff you could buy. One of the things was a wand holder. Now, the wand holder was $30. I bought a whole roll of filament for $30. This one is empty, but I have another one, which is full. Now, obviously, the one that they sell you is a bit better. I think it was made of metal, um, but I found this design online, and I'm gonna credit, and I'm gonna give the credit what credit is due, so I'm gonna find the name in a second. But basically, what this is, God, don't do that, is a little wand holder, so you can literally, there's no magic to it, <laughs> no pun intended, uh, but you can put your wand on there and have a nice little design for it to sit on, instead of just sitting, because I just had mine on a little bench, um, put it in here, it looks a lot cooler, and the detail for the Cocoon Create uh, Touch was pretty good in my opinion. I've just opened the window up so you can see more of the detail, but um, now you gotta remember, or you gotta you gotta think. This has been. Let me show you the uh, the crest right here. This was three D printed, obviously. <laughs> this was printed at a zero point uh, two millimeter uh, layer height, and as well as that, this was painted. Now, why was this painted? You may, may ask. Why couldn't I just print this in black filament? Uh, well, I was running out of filament, and I should have bought a new roll but I was too stubborn and I was using the little uh, the little rolls that came with my 3D printer these little sample rolls and it kind of worked in the end but it was a struggle so again I want to give credit where credit is due uh, this 3D print design is by Cholta I believe is the way you pronounce their user on Thingiverse I have the link down below so basically you can get it looking like this or you can change the Hogwarts crest in the middle uh, I can be the different house crests instead. Now, I didn't paint this perfectly, like you see a little bit of yellow shining through. But I wanted to bring this video out to you to show you and tell you kind of the things that I learned while printing, the things that I wish I kind of knew before starting this print. So first things first, uh, when I put this down into my printer, I forgot to put glue down. That was a mistake because of how long this was and I think it's about, I'm gonna say almost, 15 to 20 centimeters, I don't know exactly. Uh, it's a pretty long print, and what basically happened was the corners, uh, they, they started to lift. You can see right there, there's one corner that lifted, and then there's the other corner that lifted. Now, early on in the print, I basically, with those corners, when I saw, uh, saw them starting to lift, I was like, how can I fix this? I kind of got a little bit of glue, and I actually, as the print was moved, like the, the 3D printer was moving, was gluing down just those corners. Now, did it work? Did it do what I wanted to do? Mm, not really, um, but it, it stuck down enough for the whole print to work, uh, amazingly, and it stuck down enough for me to get a solid print out of it, which, you know, starting this print off, I wasn't sure I was gonna get. Now, you gotta think, this is a four hour, I believe, print, all up. Uh, I think it might have taken a little bit longer than that by the end of it all. Um, so to have problems with the first like two or three layers out of this whole thing was was scary. Now I had to do a lot of stuff to this so I sanded this down after it was done. I had to paint everything like that but um, overall the design is pretty good and it works obviously. I can show you again. Kaboom. It works. So the things I kind of learned from this print was, uh, first of all, I needed to learn how to change filament mid-print, mainly because I was running out of filament. Now I have something on screen kind of showing you the struggles that I was going through, uh, to say, to say the least. 
it wasn't easy for me to get this print done. Now, I, I basically started this off with the black layer and it looked really good. Now, I then changed to the yellow filament, which was going to be fine, except I don't know exactly what the problem was, and I still haven't kind of figured it out. I believe what happened was, when I went to take the black filament out, a little bit stayed in the printer, and was actually still kind of printing around with a little bit of filament in there somehow. And then when I tried putting the yellow in, it wasn't going in because there was that little bit of black filament left. So long story short, I end up getting it in finally, though I did miss a little bit of the layers in the crest, which I can show you in a second here. Um, but overall, once I painted and stuff, you kind of can't notice. Uh, but I'll show you guys right here what it looks like now, and then I'll show you kind of what it looks like uh, when I first printed it. So just kind of behind Slytherin, uh, even behind Ravenclaw there. Uh, I was pointing at Hufflepuff actually, not uh, Ravenclaw, but yeah, that's that. Now, you can kind of see it's a little bit shiny on top. I believe that's just from the paint. Um, either not sticking down properly, I don't really know. So I started printing yellow and it printed a lot and then I realized I was running out of yellow. So I printed in uh, gray, slate gray, which was last of this uh, full spool that I had. And I had heaps, I had, I had heaps uh, to print this with in terms of you know, how much I had left. So I had three different colors on this print uh, before painting it. So that's kind of why I need to paint it. Uh, now, a few things that I learned, obviously, while painting is you gotta be careful with like what you're kind of putting the uh, painted object on, because I got some like uh, uh, newspaper stuck on the bottom. Uh, now, I used, I actually used like a sponge uh, to paint this with, which kind of worked in like the little corners. Uh, for the most part, but overall, I think just use a brush. Um, I don't think that's, you know, something that needs to be said, but yeah, that's something I learned. Uh, there's also this stuff that I want to buy. I don't, don't remember what it's called exactly, but you kind of paint it over and it fills in any of the lines that are on this print, um, which I could really use in some spots. Like, looking at the, the top of the print, it's not too bad, the lines. I mean, 0.2. It kind of worked, I think. Let me show you the back. Uh, you can kind of see the lines, but it kind of was like, I, I I did send it a little bit, but not too much, but I would have liked um, to still be able to fill, especially at the top a little bit. There's a bit of a, you can kind of, yeah, there's just, I don't know, there's like a few spaces I would like to uh, fill in. But overall, a pretty successful print. Uh, I will have a time lapse on screen. Let's put it on now, um, showing this whole print, and then, and that will also hopefully show the different uh, settings I use at the same time. And then we'll come back and kind of do a bit of an outro. And guys, that is it for today's video. Again, the coolest print. If you guys want to uh, print this out for yourself, link is down below. I'm not going to add any special effects. I'm not bothered. Uh, but again, a really cool print. And I might actually make a thumbnail for it right now. Uh, something like that. But guys, again, 
link down below. Uh, if you want to see more 3D printing videos from myself, let me know in the comment section down below because I don't really know if my audience want to kind of see these videos. Uh, but yeah, if you do, let me know in the comment section down below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I sometimes bring out 3D printing videos, like I'm going to buy a new roll of filament from a company that everyone's in love with and uh, see how that kind of compares to the only real film that I've used uh, from Cocoon Create. So that'll be a pretty cool video. And yeah, a bunch of other stuff, non-3D printed related, come to the channel very, very shortly. So don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, do what you gotta do and like the video uh, here on YouTube. It helps me out, it helps you out as well by knowing that you like the video. Yeah. Anyway guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.